Hello, and welcome to Backyard Brains. Today we will learn how to use our spike recorder software with our Arduino shields. This applies to our heart, eye, brain, and plant experiments. Let's start with the easiest first, the heart. If you bought our equipment before May 2015, you will need to install a new Arduino sketch on your equipment. If you bought it more recently than then, the code is already on your gear and you do not need to pay attention to the next two minutes. To begin, go to our experiments page, select human experiments as an example, and click on the experiment where we look at heart axe potentials. First we need to ensure that the Arduino contains the proper code to talk via USB to our spike recorder software. Scroll down to the download section and download the Arduino program to begin. This will take you to a third party website where you can download the necessary software to make your computer talk to the Arduino. Choose the operating system you're on and download the software. Once downloaded, place the Arduino program in an easily accessible location on your machine and return to the Backyard Brains website. We are now going to download the file that says Arduino Sketch for Sending Data to Computer. And as you've done before, place the downloaded file in an easily accessible location on your machine. Now we need to connect our Shield Arduino pair to the computer using a standard USB cable. And we are ready to transfer the program. Now, open the Spike Recorder Arduino folder on your desktop and double click on the Arduino sketch. The Arduino program should now open. Now, under Tools, select Board and make sure you have Arduino Uno selected. And likewise, in the same file menu, select Port and your USB modem or COM3 port. And then click the right arrow button on the top of the screen and the Arduino program should transfer to your Arduino Shield pair. You will know the transfer has been successful if you see done uploading on the bottom of the Arduino window. And the Arduino does a little dance of lights when it's receiving new data that you should notice. Now it is time to pay attention again. Now it is time to download the Spike Recorder software. Return to the Heart Experiment page and click on the button that says Spike Recorder. This will take you to another page on our website where you can download the Spike Recorder software depending on the operating system that you have. And then download it and open it. Now we need to tell the Spike Recorder to talk to the Arduino. So we will click on the settings on the select port, select USB modem or COM3, then click the connect button. Now we should see a flat line. Plug your cables into your shield, matching color for color on the RCA jacks. And we will use our heart signal to test whether we have connection. Place one electrode on your inner left wrist, another electrode on your inner right wrist, and the ground electrode on the back of your palm. Either hand will serve you. Connect the red alligator clip to your inner left wrist, the black alligator clip to your inner right wrist, and the nude alligator clip to the ground. And rest your hands lightly on the table. Wait a few seconds and you should begin seeing periodic fluctuations. What are these? We are seeing the classic electrical physiological features of the human heartbeat. We can increase the scale of the y-axis by clicking on the plus or minus buttons on the left side of the screen, and we can also change the x-axis time scale by sliding up and down on the scroll wheel on your mouse or moving your two fingers up and down on the trackpad of your laptop. Do you want to take a threshold? Of course you do. You can do this by clicking on the threshold button in the upper left hand side of the screen. This will momentarily freeze the recording when the signal crosses the threshold line that you set. And we know you want to average the signal, which you can certainly do by moving the slider bar. This will change the number of times the signal is averaged together so you can get a waveform that looks very much like the iconic waveforms you see in your textbook. And as you are a good scientist, you want to record your data. Back in the waveform view, you can hit the red record button, and this will save the signal as a wave file. When you are done recording, you can then open the file and play it back. And let us terminate with a more difficult signal to record, the visual cortex EEG. As you've done before, use the backyard braid's headband to place the electrodes on the back of your head and the ground electrode behind your ear. And have a friend place some conductive gel underneath the electrodes on the back of your head. Use the standard backyard braid's cable to connect the red and black clips to the electrodes on the back of your head and the nude alligator clip to the ground behind your ear. 
in a stable, noise-free environment, you should see quite nicely the alpha waves of the visual cortex with your eyes closed. But wait, what is that FFT button in the corner of the screen? Let's click it. Whoa, now we can see the frequency domain and the time domain. When the eyes are closed, we should see increased amplitude, more green, at 10 Hz. Which then goes away when the eyes open again. And return when you close your eyes. Intrepid scientist, now set forth and make some new discoveries. Backyard Brains, neuroscience for everyone.